Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode 18. As everybody kind of looks off screen as they're busy prepping because holy crap, we're going to roll some dice tonight. Uh, <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, first off, hey, thank you to our awesome, awesome patrons, Claire, Ryan, Thomas, Schmitty. Wait, Thomas? Hang on, shit, I might restart this. Oh, wait, no, I'm good. And Samuel, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's... It's been a day. Uh, thank you guys for for supporting us on Patreon, making making sure we have stuff to go. I believe Weird says, "Hey, yes, we got a cup of coffee. It's great uh, because you know, and that's that's just for them. the 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 rest of it goes into proceeds to do stuff and upgrade stuff and um, do things like go to Pax Unplugged, sort of. So. That might See you be there, a, maybe? Yeah, Excited. that might be a thing. So there's, there's at least a couple of us who are going. So we'll talk more about that closer to PAX Unplugged. Anyways. Uh, Eight months from now. <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyways, if uh, you know, if you guys like the show, please join us on Patreon. And even if you're not pledging, follow, because that's kind of our website for now. Um, we're going to be posting some stuff more. Um, I'm kind of freeing up my schedule to share some more stuff to to that page so you guys can see it. If you're a patron, you'll get to see it early. Everybody else, if you're just watching the site and, and following, I believe is the term, that'll let you have some access to it a little bit later. Uh, we're gonna do like weird journals. We got some art commission stuff that you'll see, stuff like that. Um, and then of course, subscribing to us on YouTube, on podcast stuff that helps a ton as well. And we greatly appreciate it, uh, even for all the just, hey, great episode stuff, that's cool. If you wanna get in and really discuss stuff, come join us on Discord, cause we have some really interesting discussions, um, especially people are starting to talk about playing their own mage games, which is really exciting for me cause I'm going, oh, that's really good. I must steal that for this game. <laughs> So uh, yeah, come 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 hang so out, come join if us. If a Guesha of a haunted house shows up, right? Exactly. Uh, who is that? Uh, Jack, I think. Anyways, yeah. Come. Or the like the, the voodoo technomancer that uh, 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 I don't remember her name. Pink Pink Gazelle. Yeah. Pink yeah. Gazelle. So yeah, this, hey, this shout is shout out y'all. Yeah, this is the stuff you guys are missing on Discord. Come hang out with us. Anyways. Uh, you will notice over those who are on YouTube uh, that we have a bunch of spell templates already queued up um, because we cut to Songbird walking in after talking with his good buddy, Jimmy Smalls, uh, and making the way up into the apartment and um, uh, Logan and uh, Alicia have settled down onto uh, couches kind of in the living room. Uh, some drinks have been, you know, poured and, you know, you know, normal, you know, beer, wine, whatever. Uh, they, they made themselves at home. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and that is that is what Songbird walks into. Uh, what is everybody else up to already? I am scrying the shit out of this alpha. I am okay. sweeping up the bullets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, which which Alicia and Logan have been like edged away Chipped from. Around. It's like, right yeah, sorry. Away. That's, that's yeah, sorry about like, that. They're like, it's cool. It's cool. As long as it's not bare skin or hitting us, we're OK. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that stuff leaves scars, bro. <laughs> like the hand comes back. Um, John, yeah, if you want, uh, because I think this is going to start off with a big scrying window as you guys set up this big screen TV. Yeah, I was going to say, this there's, when I, there's when one I there. It's my like 80 scry, plus inches. When I display my scry, I'm going to overlay it over the screen on the TV. <laughs> Hey, somebody Sweet. change the channel on this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but I'm pretty sure I set my template up. Right. Correctly. So that's uh, reach for instant, instant, reach for sensory range, correct, plus a mana for sympathetic, and then advanced duration. Yes. Cool. Yep. And then um, now that will last for um, all right because you have two arcana, so that'll last for a day which is basically what you guys are looking for. So cool. That's I need anyways. Right. Um, and then your Yantra bonus is... Because of the fact that I'm not using the fur anymore, I have a sympathetic uh, connection, albeit one that I'm borrowing, but mm -hmm. I have it of my own to begin with. Um, I can use two Yantras, right? Yep. Okay. So I am using my Shatter name. 
because okay. why not? Mm-hmm. And then and again. I mm-hmm. uh, correct. And then I'm using um, you know what? Uh, what can I get? I had it in my mind, and now I can't remember where I was getting the other two from. You could easily um, use um, uh, high speech. Yeah, yes. keep high speech through for shadow name. Yep. Perfect. So Thank roll you. that. That's what eight. I was thinking of. Eight with eight again. This should be a fucking crit. <laughs> Oof. There's no eights or nines in there. <laughs> it re-rolled all the tens. Actually, hang on. Hold that thought. Does it re-roll the tens? It re-rolled the tens, but not again. Uh, oh, wait, maybe it did. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, to get the extra ten, and then the three. Yeah, so it did. Uh, Okay, so just four successes. Again, robbed of your critical success. Uh, I mean, I could make it a critical success because I still have that condition, but... It does not apply to spellcasting. You know what? I don't like (laughs) you anymore. Sorry. I didn't say it for once. (laughs) Uh, But nonetheless, yes, big screen TV, boom. And now you guys get a good up-close look at Marrow Eater. um, And I'm going to point out... Mm -hmm. say to everybody you know every time i scry somebody there's always a tiny part of me that's scared that when it opens up they're going to be deucing it up (laughs) it's Uh, just a constant fear that i have i'd be more scared that it accidentally went the other way right um but no in this particular case you see a marrow eater which currently appears to be a massive gray furred wolf um like huge thing and it is over here literally gnawing on what looks like very likely a human femur that's nasty mm-hmm. ahead yeah and uh bear in mind scrying does carry audio components so you can crunch, 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 crunch snap um, yeah. hey, like the ice cream. do you got Maybe. any uh <laughs> you got any popcorn <laughs> Just want to kick back, drink some beer, watch some popcorn, and watch, watch you guys fuck them up from afar. Yep. Oh, and bear in mind, this is a close up too. So you've got like wolf head, and you know, and that's yeah, it's a gruesome shot. Uh, cool. All right. So uh, let's just scroll back to the top. Um, unless somebody has to do something beforehand, I'll just you start with question. the treatises. Mm-hmm? How are y'all getting your yantra bonuses that high? I'm going to cast ritually. Yeah, but ritually. even then, like, do you just use all of your magical tools at once? Uh, yes. I can. If I will you run through it when a, we get to that spell. Right. If you're in a yantra, uh, sorry, if you're in a ritual, you do not have a limit to how many yantras you can use. The limit yeah, but to do yantras. Do they not have to be relevant to the spell? Sure, but you can use uh, multiple. So, like, you could use, like, um, I'm casting. High, uh, high speech, cabal, concentration. Um, you can use a magical tool. Like, you. Yep. The environment, the fact that your cabal mates are standing there around you until now, you stop but, concentrating. Right. I was going to say, well, uh, and yeah, that that is a big one. If you're using concentration, you're not going to be doing any other instant actions. So you could not decide the spell to punch ends the, after you. Right. If you lose concentration. So that is probably not the best one to use unless you're just going to be chilling. Uh, but uh, now bear in mind, you could also use multiple path tools. So. Um, you know, uh, potentially a rod and a weapon could both apply mm-hmm. for zapping somebody. Uh, also, don't forget you have your order um, tools, um, which I don't know that would necessarily work for most anybody, except for except Songbird. Yeah, Songbird. Like we're gonna go fight some stuff. Yes, I have a weapon. Okay, here's some weapons. Pile them in the circle. Yep. Uh, uh, so yeah, so th- yeah, you can definitely crank some crank some stuff up. Uh, but yeah, ritual casting is going to be the big thing for that. So, um, actually, what's, what's this for spell? Um, I was going to do a ritual cast on a shadow crafting to make an armor for Logan. So when oh. he jumps into the melee with a werewolf, he has a little bit more protection. Okay. He's going to turn into a wolf, though, right? How do I make it fit him? It's made of shadows, though. Can it just, like, form? <laughs> Um, well, and, and because I'm sure you have this discussion with him, yeah. uh, before just like, here's some armor and he goes, Arr. uh, but yeah, no, the, the armor that he has as a wolf is going to handle most everything. If 
and he's like to to be honest when i when i assume the garu form um i'm not going to be in the right mind to pause put to put on armor yeah. right uh well i appreciate the idea that armor may be better for you guys or um you know yeah i i will not I will probably need the armor. Any bit helps, but I probably won't have the the mental wherewithal to put on armor. Okay. Well, um, who else is gonna maybe be fighting a werewolf? Songbird, you want some shadow armor? Hell yeah, babe. Okay. Um, I had calculated up at seven. Mm-hmm. So I'll just roll that. Cool. I could probably add a Moriantra bonus. I was gonna use like a um. A uh, needle as one of the tools, like you're sewing. Cool, I like it. Um, seven. Okay. Uh, did it work? It did. Cool. Yep. And so, and uh, out. the factor is duration. So I have three dots in death, so that means less for a week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So here you have this. <laughs> That's what, my um, first three hours. What, what what band is on this shadow armor T-shirt? <laughs> I was just gonna be like a black dress shirt, kind of. <laughs> Basically, you see what she's wearing, like a collared shirt with sleeves rolled up. That's what you got. Cool. <laughs> okay. I dig it. Uh, what was the you can put your spell? armor on over it, like your flak jacket, if you want that. Yep. I designed it to stack. Or my red jacket. We, for style um, points. We finished making these bullets, right? Yeah. The, uh, you just got the so many bullets, bullets. They have not been You packed. haven't made them. They've yeah. been loaded. Mm-hmm. Well... Moving a little fast. Get to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start packing those. I don't know. Sure. Do we need a roll to figure out how many I can pack in a certain amount of time, or in the amount of time that the, they're gonna be casting and stuff you like got that? Six you hours get... already, so you're good. Twelve. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sunbird needs twelve hours. Gotcha. Um, okay, at least. And Ash, what was your second spell? Uh, my second spell was a soul jar. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. I'm going to grab like. Do you have any spare, like, kitchen canisters? I don't want to put them in, like, a shitty container. If I'm snatching someone's soul, I want it to do it with style, right? Well, and bear in mind, if it tears or breaks, <laughs> then the soul comes yeah, out. Yeah, I wanted, like, a nice glass jar. Mason jar? Yeah, like a sealed lid. Um, but that one was also seven, so... Okay. I will. Oops. Yep, go for that. Where's my thing? Two more successes. Two successes. Okay. All right. So I have one vessel for a soul. Mm-hmm. Now and that includes I... the two reach to make it. Um, what was it? Ah, I spend a mana. The effects of the spell are lasting. The soul remains even when the duration ends. So Nasty. I will just have that until I decide to let it go. Yep. Or eat it. Mm-hmm. Nom nom nom. Um, or feed it okay. to Gabe. Now, oh boy. <laughs> um, now, the one thing is because you have, you're maintaining concentration on a spell mm-hmm. because you have the shadow armor. So we have to bump your. Hang on one sec. What the heck is the resolve withstand for? Is that? For the soul itself? Hang on, where's Sever's soul? Mm-hmm. Sorry, hold please. So that's resolve. Not a soul. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so Sever's soul would let you just sho- shove it in. Okay, never mind, we're good. Um, so that said, yeah, so we need to spend another mana or... Well, actually, no, you're originally casting that one? Yeah. So you use your dedicated magical tool, so... Mm. Uh, rolling paradox real quick. I'm sure, this will be nothing. Ooh, Ooh. did I get one? I have been waiting for this. Uh, not exactly. You kind of got the opposite of one. Oh, dramatic failure! Dramatic failure on paradox. Sick. Uh, what does that mean? I'm trying to remember. Uh, you do not provoke paradox. You regain a point of willpower. And the next paradox roll made for her in the same scene does not suffer the usual cumulative. Oh, okay. So you get a well, willpower back. I didn't. I wasn't missing any. So. Oh, well. But you do get. 
actually you're casting this ritually everybody mm-hmm. takes an arcane beat as you guys watch as you know atratus basically overreaches and just effectively does it perfectly like there is no paradox doesn't even touch it do uh, i get one also yes oh, cool that means i have an fxp for anosis oh okay <laughs> Sure. Um, all right, cool. So those are the two Atreus spells. Songbird, what is this thing that has a minus 10 penalty for potency? Yeah, it's going to it's gonna be a minus 8. So um, I am going to use my grimoire that I crafted last session. Right. Um, and I plan to ritually cast both those spells with the grimoire. I know that doubles it. So like this is basically like there might be a couple things I do tonight and then like... 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow, mm-hmm. I am casting spells. Cool. All right. With a little um, lunch break in between. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, uh, the thing I want to do tonight does factor into those, though. At least one of them. Uh, what do you mean? I want to go craft a domain in my oh, bedroom. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll have to do that first yep. before the cast spell. Okay, for we'll sure. come back to that then. Uh, yep. Weird, what is this spell? A grave misfortune. Right. Okay, so now we start to start to uh, screw over this alpha. Okay, so grave so misfortune. So I had to reach, but I think I don't need three reach. What do I? What do I pay for casting through the vid window? Two reach. Two? Okay, so three reach. That's fine. Um, let me check my notes. Well, the best part, I love this, because there, there's probably like multiple people casting at the same time in the living room where they can all see the scrying TV. Mm-hmm. Um, and Logan and Alicia are just sitting back going, just yeah. chilling. OK, so I was right. <laughs> cool. Uh, I was right. So three reach. Um, I'm going to put a willpower. I'm not sure I have my Yantras all right there. So I've got shadow name is three. High speech is two. Um, I figure I can get two casting tools. Uh, and then, yeah, at least one then, weapon. Yep, and then concentration gives me eight. It, so, if you're going to maintain concentration the entire time, you can do that. But as well, soon I'm as casting you it, sure. Well, no, no, no. 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 Oh, okay. yeah, you can't do another spell, though, right? Right. right. You can't do any instant action. So you can okay. dodge and move, but as soon as you take any damage or you do any non reflexive action, okay. it, it goes away. Now, what do I get for the runes on my hand? That's a plus two. two. Plus two. Okay. Um, uh, and then a willpower. Okay, so we are at... Um, and you're you're only doing this over one ritual interval? Or two? Because that's the other bonus to ritual casting. If you want to cast for longer, you get more bonuses. Two. Two unit intervals, so that'll be two hours. Uh-huh, let's see here. Uh, that's plus one each. Uh, which, by the way, doesn't count as a yantra. So you can get that like plus five on a yantra, and then you can extend your rituals out. So this this example right here, this is where it made you start to get scary because mm-hmm. they're going to bring in all their yantras and stuff like that. Um, okay, cool. So we have a minus ten for potency. So that's going to be a plus five on top of the three that you already have. And my yeah right. Okay, and then and he's going to withstand with composure. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. So is, with that, I think it, I'm actually at my dice pool is at 19. Um, Minus the 14 for potency and duration. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I was going to say, hang on. <laughs> Where did so you I'm, get that from? Uh, so yeah, so 6, um, 14, 17, uh, 18. 19 okay yeah, so five right. so and this this <laughs> is uh grave misfortune which is reduced by composure okay cool go ahead and roll them and this will um, last for a week right with your minus three successes okay um and so you had a potency of eight right yep okay go ahead and mark that down just and just to remember and I'm just um, checking. Is that a praxis or is that a grave? You tell us. Is I think a you took it as a praxis. Praxis. Cool. So uh, 
I'll take a condition. Are you sure about that? Why not? Oh, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna totally <laughs> get rid of the withstand. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I mean, if you want the one arcane no, no, beat, no, sure. That's totally good. That's fine. So, okay, really write down that eight because he has a six composure. Jesus. <laughs> um, and so that the, po- the final potency was eight. Mm-hmm. So he's taking plus eight damage from the next, the next eight, eight attacks. For the next eight attacks in the next week. Yep. <laughs> That's Those fucked are attacks up, dude. versus him? Yep. Any, no, anytime he takes damage. Yeah, if he, he cuts to himself, damage. if right. he cuts himself shaving, eight points. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, no, what you said to the wolves was if he hurts them, he gets hurt. That's, That's the coming other next. spell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is why you don't mess with witches. They aren't going to hurt you. Everything else is. Yeah, I'm going to uh, make you hurt yourself. Okay. Right. So that uh, one's out of the way. Yep. Uh, <sighs> it keeps going down. John, uh, you have your second spell here. Or actually, I think that was the scry. Did you, okay. Cool, thank you for the nod. Uh, Songbird. Oh, we're going to do the domain. So, yeah, weird, go ahead and do your second spell. Uh, same thing, but this one is shared fate. Okay, right, and you are I using... don't need the instant cast, and I don't need the sensory range, but I've got two for that. I'm just adjusting my uh, reaches. Uh, advanced duration, one way, and two for the flexible link. So anytime, so I got the two for the sensory range, one for advanced duration, one for it's a one-way shared fate. Okay. Right? So damages he inflicts on other people only come back to him. It doesn't, a damage he takes doesn't get reflected back to them. So oh, it separates okay. it. You only need the two. You don't need both reach options. Oh, I only need the two. Okay. Right, because because normally it's the two people, if they hurt each other, they take the damage. One would be the two people are linked, but only one person takes extra damage. Right. But the So with the flexible one, link, yeah, anytime he hits anyone, right. he's going to take whatever damage, conditions, tilts he inflicts are going to mm-hmm. be reflected back to him. Mm-hmm. Um... So that's two, four, that's five reach. I've got one for free. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pump some mana into that. Okay. Where's my mana? There we go. Um, two for dedicated mag- uh, magical tools. So I'll take two mana mm-hmm. to counteract the paradox. No. Because you have Gnosis 3, sir. Oh, boy. You're o- how, how far are you overreaching? Uh, hang on. Uh, five. I've got one for you, so I'm overreaching by four. That's eight paradox. <laughs> Two for dedicated magical magical tool. Right. So six. So six. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is why Songbird's making a domain. <laughs> okay. I'll. Uh, well, domain wouldn't help in this case because it's going outside. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh... How much mana do you got, bud? I can take it all and I have one mana left. All right. I'll take it all. Okay. So that'll just I mean, be a chance. You can go get that. some mana tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I'm not combining. So 10 for potency. Mm-hmm. Now... And Four for duration. Mm-hmm. So the enter bonus would be the same. That's all the same. So it ends up mm-hmm. being five again. Yep. With a willpower dot. Okay. Or not with a willpower dot, just with a point of willpower. R- right, with a point of willpower. <laughs> Vastly different <laughs> calculations there. Cool. Okay. And that one uh, I don't think you have as a praxis. No, I don't have that one as a praxis. Okay. Um, what is the spell factor there, though? Shared fate. It's potency. Mm-hmm. It's potency. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, you did have so an eight. eight again. Uh, 
Oh, right. The potency is eight, correct. But it is reduced by his composure, which I've told you now is six. So he has two. Right. Two potency. Um, so what that means... Yeah, this is going to be fun. So anytime he hurts someone else, he takes two damage? Nope. Oh, no, oh. the the spell itself. So long as it landed, oh. um, any damage he inflicts comes back on him. Well, right. That's fucked but, up. but because he has grave misfortune, any it's damage he inflicts comes back on him plus eight. This is got me rock hard. So yeah. he's gonna hit. <laughs> uh, he's gonna hit Atratus or not Atratus, um Songbird for five, and he's gonna me. take uh, thirteen points of damage. Mm-hmm. So does that include the, that damage has to go how does the through their work, armor though, right? It is the same type. And okay. uh, it will be after armor. Yeah. Okay. So it's how much damage they actually inflict. So mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Songbird's got four and four armor. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it is the same type of damage. Uh, if you really want to think about it, one point of lethal is effectively 11 bashing damage. That's not how the bonus calculates out. The first one is, but yeah. Um, Cool. So that is weird stuff. And of course, you didn't have to worry about spell control because you're at Gnosis 3. All right. So um, while they're all casting, Songbird, what are you turning into your soul stone? A barbell. Of course you are. (laughs) And I'll be honest, you got to make it something that you don't want somebody to destroy easily. It's my heaviest barbell in my like little home gym area of my bedroom. Sure. Um, and I'm like laying out. Yeah. So I guess I got to do that first. Uh, yep. Is there a role for that one or not? I like, don't believe see. so. I'm double checking real quick. Um, so you handle a size up to size two. That's fine. The barbell and print your signature Nimbus on it, which that might cost a mana. Uh, okay. Spend That's a fine. willpower dot and it becomes a soul stone. Cool. So let me jump over there. Um, bum, 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 signature, bum, 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 signature, signature, you can print it with one mana. Yep. Okay. So one mana. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, and this is, uh, I'm going now going to attempt to lay out, um, a forces domain, domain in my. One second, because you've just scoured and screwed with your soul. Yeah, that's fair. Yep. Uh, and it is always going to quote. Uh, against, let's see here. Uh, uh, it says enlightened and understanding. Right, so that's where you're at. So uh, let me find, yeah, okay. So yeah, it's a, uh, so roll three dice. One success. Fuck that shit. I'm good. Yep. Able to examine and understand the ramifications of his actions. He does not lose wisdom. Oh, yeah, bro. Anytime you risk wisdom regeneration. I now got I now got sick gains for my body and my soul. And one arcane beat. Hell yeah. So anytime it's an act of hubris, you get an arcane beat. All right. Cool. And then now you want to create a domain. You're doing this in your bedroom. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, and you're doing with forces, so roll your Gnosis plus Arcana, and then, of course, subtract another mana for doing this at all. Okay. And you need three successes total. Okay. Four dice. Need a sidebar when there's a chance, Drew. Sure. One success, so that's one hour down. Mm-hmm. There it is. Cool. Fuck. Two hours later. Whoa. And man, it feels cozy in here. It does. It feels uh, forceful. <laughs> so uh, we'll come back to your spells. What is the sidebar, sir? Um, a primary factor for shared fate is potency, but I don't see anywhere where potency is actually a factor in the spell. Uh, that it's because is... it goes through composure. Right. Okay. Yep. You have to shove power into it to make it work. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Um, cool. So yes, you now have a domain uh, upon which uh, casting in there gives you a plus two die bonus, I believe. 
for forces spells. Mm -hmm. And as long as the spell doesn't leave the verge or domain, it doesn't risk paradox. Um, cool. But as soon as I walk out of it with the spell? As soon, no, no. As soon if if the spell target is outside, okay. That, but as soon as you have it on you, so you can put the whole as, time. The spell is going on. No, because basically at the time of when no, no, the in, whole time the casting is going on. I'm saying, right. yeah. Oh well, yeah. I doubt everybody wants to sit there for twelve hours. Well, it it would only apply to forces. I doubt everyone wants to sit there for six hours. Oh, because you're going to cast on other folks. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. That's a question. Uh, that's a I question bet I can convince Logan and Alicia to do it, though. Possibly, they're sitting down in the living room watching cool. Weird go through a really long ritual. Actually, not too long. Um, I only did four hours. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, Logan I took and Alicia, longer. Right. Um, I know we're doing a bunch of wild magic shit, and y'all kind of just been sitting here, but uh, no, no, it's been uh illuminating. Yeah. So I plan to do some wild, wild fucking buff spells, basically. <laughs> tomorrow. Do some wild fucking, huh? Yeah. Um, if you would like it, if you would like to be able to punch harder and do more damage than you have ever done in your life. Um, Step into my you can, you can spend six hours with me tomorrow morning. The, uh, like Logan like gets this grin and Alicia looks over at him and goes I mean I'm telling the story here <laughs> and Logan goes yeah okay uh, <laughs> no Songbird thank you for your offer uh, it is greatly appreciated but I'm doing it under under my own fair in my own hands yep yeah. alright that's fair cool and so you're going to cast those spells yeah. Is there anything else people are doing tonight? John? Yes. Mammon is going to run back to his apartment and pick up the empty mags that he had mm -hmm. purchased. Mm -hmm. um, I looked it up online and you should be expected to hand load 100 rounds in about an hour and seven minutes. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah. Um, it would not take you the whole night to load. So. And uh, so I'm going to pick those mags up. Uh, I'm going to pick up my smig. While mm -hmm. I'm there, because I don't normally carry it with me for obvious reasons. Right. And then um, I'm probably going to stop and pick up some beer because <laughs> this is really entertaining watching people fuck this guy's in this man's whole career <laughs> without <laughs> him even knowing that it's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Walk across the street. Um, yeah. OK, cool. And yeah, <laughs> you leave, come back. No big deal. Uh, all right. So, yeah, you you and then spend you know, an hour or so while Atratus is still over there casting. You're just lone bullets. I'm just muttering to myself sitting on the couch while sewing a shirt out of nothing. It's like I'm going to make sure that I offer Logan and Alicia, 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 <laughs> uh, some beer as well. Because, yeah. you know, it's not my place, but I'm still going to try to be a good host. Sure. Well, well I mean, they've, they've been drinking. Well, in that case, uh, tonight, what Songbird wants to do is uh ask logan if he can um take a look at uh some of his um marks more closely mm -hmm. you wait until i'm fucking done sewing this shirt that's what i wanted <laughs> yeah, to fine. do that was uh, that's, oh, that's why i only had four hours of casting to do this podcast yeah. is going in an unexpected direction <laughs> i didn't expect it to become fan fiction yeah well hey you're the one with the vice right okay uh yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Logan kind of looks at these guys, um, like that was kind of like a one time, like thing, but I mean, is that like, do you guys need to, like, is that a, is this going to help? No, probably it's not. I just really want to see how this magic works. Okay. Uh, and he's like, I mean, uh, okay. How, how long do you need to be able to see it? A few seconds. Oh yeah, you you have Arcana that might help you scrutinize. I don't. I'm thinking life would be good for it. That's true. Do we have to spend extra mana to use an Arcana that's not one of our ruling? So it's yep. two to scrutinize instead of one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, no, it's a it's a mana and a willpower, right? No, no, uh, or, mana right. to add. Uh, mana to add life to my it's, mage site. 
and then willpower, willpower to do it. Okay, yeah. Right. Uh, I'm looking now. No, I got confused and thought you had to spend a mana to um scrutinize, but it's willpower. Yeah, you're right. Oh, indeed it is. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, <laughs> Logan is like, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> and so yeah, pulls his shirt off there in the middle. It's like, man, this is. Uh, here for it <laughs> yeah uh now we're just gonna yeah. stare real close at you for a minute <laughs> right <laughs> and alicia Hope. you watch as like alicia just very surreptitiously pulls the phone out taking photos <laughs> <laughs> as logan is standing there like kind of t-pose just kind of like stirring up he's not super uncomfortable like he's just like this is weird uh but yeah you can see uh he uh where no weirds uh, in the other room no, weird is here. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, um, from uh, from what Mammoth had seen, uh, this guy Marrow Eater had like four different marks, kind mm-hmm. of you know, on him. Um, They're all like bloody and scarred and stuff. But they, right? they, yeah, they all look like you know scars of some form. Uh, Logan has they they have that same kind of scarred uh he's stuff. got a there silver is, one, yeah. He has one silver one. Uh, though one. now now that you are looking at it. It is not silver. Hmm. Uh, the, the mark is still there. Um, and then I'm trying to remember uh, what other ones he has. So he had a power uh, one on like his shoulder here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has the gift and of the, strength. the moon rune or whatever it was on his side. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, those, those, are, those are the two. I'm double checking which one. Yes. Yep. So yeah, he has he has those two. Um and yeah, if you guys want to scrutinize, we can do that. Yeah, I want to I want to do that on the um the. It doesn't matter specifically which one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, cool. So, um, who would like to start? I'll go first. And what are you using? I'm using life. Okay. Um. So Nessus plus Arcana, right? Mm Hmm. Yep. Four uh, free attempts then? Uh right. Okay. Uh so I'm scrutinizing trying to get through the obscurity opacity. And stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, opacity. There you yep. go. Uh, nice. Uh, that Dope. seems pretty good. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We're Oops. off to a great start. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's that's three. Right. Okay. So, uh, because that is a uh, failure on a extended, you can decide. Oh, okay. Right. Hmm? It's a. It's still one of the. It's like the fourth. It's, it's one the of last the last free one. Right. Um. So, uh, you can continue. Oh, no, this one doesn't have you have to take a condition. OK, cool. So but yeah, that is the four you have not completely scrutinized. I didn't figure uh, I'll try again. OK. There you go, I think. OK, now you have to math. reveal. Mathematically, right. if it was three, I'm done. If it was four, I'm down to one. OK, so yeah, you need one more. Okay. Uh, I'll try it with one. OK. Uh, I don't want to push myself too hard and right. fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Um, so then same thing to reveal, same four. I'm going to use a point of willpower on this. Okay. I really so want to blast this open. Gnosis plus Arcana minus plus one. Three. Or minus one. Okay. So Or plus two. Yeah, because you're adding willpower. Yeah. So six. So six days. Nice. Okay. So uh, because you have not completely cleared away all the opacity, Mm-hmm. Um, you only get the surface information, but uh, uh, okay, right. Uh, it's only after you've cleared everything. Uh, but that said, um, uh, obviously this is not the result of uh, awakened magic. Mm-hmm. Um, the arcana involved with this is very highly spirit. Yeah. Um, how old the mystery is? Um, a couple years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about half a decade, maybe. Uh, what practice created the mystery? Mm, patterning. Patterning, yeah. Uh, yeah, so there you go. 
Um, and then Atratus, were you going to try it with life as well? Uh, no, just because I don't have mm -hmm. the gnosis to really pull it. I'm life one, gnosis one. Right. Um, so I just want to like ask him, like, mm -hmm. how? Did uh, you... Songbird is over here, staring. Just, like, staring. <laughs> I'm doing things. the same thing on the other side. Like, so how okay. did you get these? Like, did the spirit put them on you? Uh, and he he kind of taps the the one on his side, the one that you had seen that was silver. He's like, this this is this is this is Luna. This is this is my auspice. And so this is this is what lets me work with spirits. Uh, this this is the symbol that I'm in. Uh, I thour, I fewer, I don't know. When I did my se session zero one video, if any of you guys watched that way back when for Werewolf, I couldn't say it then, I can't say it now. Uh, <laughs> but they're the spirit folks, uh, they're the gibbous moon. Uh, and so the, I, I have that. And then this, this I earned from a spirit. Uh, and Alicia goes, Ahem, and you know, kind of rolls up her sleeve. She's like, well, she okay. has you. And, and basically a group of us hunted a spirit down that knew this, mm -hmm knew this gift and could give this gift and we earned it by taking it down and we didn't destroy it but we hunted it earned it showed and, his boss right and so in in you know return we didn't eat it for its essence and it gave us this mark so what does it do for you um and alicia uh kind of explains well it depends because we both have the same gift but our renown is different um and i'm trying to remember uh, you guys are sending me all over the place in this world. Even this werewolf is... floor. Oh yeah, no, I'm 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 down for this. I just have to remember who has what things. Uh, so Kahalith, I thought was. Come on, PDF. I believe in you. Okay, there we go. Um, Kahalith is glory. Malfear. It's wisdom. Yeah, that's right, kids. Logan is the wise one. Um, so for uh, so Alicia says, you know, this one, uh, this gives me. I, I can leap, I can run. It, this gives me movement. Uh, but for that asshole. Um, um, and he, he uh, Logan kind of grins, he says, yeah, I I can rip shit apart. Um, that's handy yeah uh well when i'm big and scary or the wolf form that you saw before um uh, i can rip through buildings objects things doesn't really help much in a fight but when the prey sure? is yeah I'm, i mean now that said when the prey is behind a wall um i'm gonna tear that wall up i can you not like rip the prey apart it's not quite the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, in 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 short, basically, um, he reduces the he ignores durability of objects when he does he, songbird stuff. Yeah, uh, and so and he's like, yeah, yeah, I have dug through like a steel building before, like into it. Cool. I want to do that one day. Yeah, he's like some some spirit claim thought it could hide in a in a nice building, and I just tore through a bunch of concrete and steel, and we continued to chase it. Fuck yeah. Yep. Why was that one silver? It's not anymore, but it was. It <laughs> no, that was just me kind of flexing. Okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah. In, in for it. Sure. Yeah, he's, and and you know, uh, uh Alicia basically says it's 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 how we kind of show off to to other other Uratha and we, we can it's not a it's not a fight. Thing. It's like a mage duel. ritual. No. <laughs> it's uh, like a mage duel, for sure. Uh kind of like a mage duel. It's more like and uh you know, we we have renown, we, you know, what we're known for. And yeah, basically this, you know, it shows off um uh, you know what renown we have and what the physical we manifestation have. of their level. <laughs> basically. And very specifically, it would be like I'm a flex and then show off which how many dots I have in which arcana is the, the yeah. mage equivalent. Um, but yeah, and we do it to kind of, it's not a, it's not a taunt or anything like that, but it, yeah, kind of, kind of shows what, what we're known for. Cause earning renown is how we earn 
more facets to a gift. Um, and uh, they basically say, in this hunt, this is, this is our attempt at um, uh, a purity renown. Um, and that would give us more standing in the pack, more standing amongst spirits. Yeah, we'll get you there. We hope. He's like, he's like, yeah. Well, and if I die trying, then just make sure Alicia goes and tells Not the story. Not gonna right? let you die. Don't make promises we can't keep. Also, you all remember her oath, right? Yeah. <laughs> if I die, uh, trust me, I'm going down swinging. Don't pick me up. <laughs> And Alicia goes, this is why I'm not actually on the hunt. I'm just here to watch. But, um, cool. Well, that's about all the questions I had about sorted werewolf magic. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a... Would it be an arcane? Yeah, you still studied it, even if you had to pause on the opacity thing. I'm going to take um, my aspiration beat for that. Yep. Um, cool. And then let's uh, let's roll those spells there, Mr. Songbird. Cool. Uh, I think I do have to fix a couple things on the template, so I'm running back through it real fast. Okay, cool. So this is like the next day, right? I believe that's what he was going for in the yeah. morning. Yeah, the next morning. We went to sleep after mm -hmm. thoroughly examining this dude. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna do kinetic blow first. Sure. Um, so rage doesn't fucking matter. Nope. At all. So uh Because you're casting it on yourself, right? Yep. Yep. So advanced duration it'll last a day. Yep. Uh knockdown trait, stun trait, held weapon trait. Held weapon? Held weapons. It applies to held weapons. Oh, okay, gotcha. I thought that was a condition that you apply. Also for future reference and why I was trying to cast it on a group. Mm -hmm. but that won't work because no one will sit with me for six hours mm -hmm. is uh the potency of this spell would apply to firearms but as far as armor penetration i will come see, with see you. where you fucked up was you didn't mention that yeah <laughs> tell me that because i mean i'm not going to punch a thing but i'll come sit in your little circle <laughs> right i was gonna say so so with that we cut to 5 a.m groggy up, couple here, members coffee. sit yeah. here hand me that barbell <laughs> Uh, the barbo can just be there. Sure. I mean, other ones. Yep. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I'm doing athletics as a mudra, so. Oh, gotcha. Sure. I'm just like right. sitting in your floor. Yep. I'm just emptying zeros for reach because it doesn't matter. Sure. Uh, maximum of five potency, so I'm doing a minus eight. Did Mammon spend the night here? fine. What's up? Did Mammon spend the night here? I did for the very first time. Slept on the couch. It was horrifying. <laughs> so, because <laughs> I think Alicia and Logan did too, and yep. so, uh, so there's our mattresses. Well, no, five a.m. You wake up, and there, in front of the door, are two wolves curled Aww. up. It's adorable. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Simultaneously. Ears and look up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if that's a good idea. Sneaking up on a sleeping werewolf sounds like a bad idea. Um, I can run through Yantras, but I've got a plus 10. Mm -hmm. uh, high speech, tools, adamant hand, cabal theme, domain, and mudras. Cool. All right, yeah. And then you're casting with your grimoire, right? Mm -hmm. So you have the rote so quality. Wrote. So what's my actual pull here? Six? Uh, six. Oh, this is definitely going to be good. And Come on now. Well, hang on now because you use this thing instead of the thing. I can't tell. Did this? Uh, did you have the rote quality on this? I, I, I did. It, yep, I did. And so you have the eight, the eight, one, seven, nine, five, three, ten. Drop 
sorry, when you do it that way, I can't really see stuff. So yeah, double check and make sure that it actually re-rolled stuff. It rolled, ended up rolling eight dice off of a one and a five. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you got your four successes. Okay. Does it not? I've got a 10 at the end though. Wouldn't it re-roll that? Uh, it should. Uh, so yeah, re-roll one. Yeah. So that, that that's why I set up that spell button thing. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Go, go ahead and re-roll that. Uh, cause unfortunately, because of the way the thing stretches, I can't see it. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, go ahead and roll uh, 1d10. For that 10. Because I can at least see that. Okay, so yeah, four successes. Okay. Uh, that's cool. So that works for anybody that wanted it. Mm -hmm. You have a potency of five. So you ignore five. You have armor piercing five. Nice. On any bullets that you shoot. Dope. <laughs> I was 100% holding hands in that circle. <laughs> uh and then just had to I be there tell you guys to go do whatever else you're gonna do because this next one's uh actually hmm. this is the one where i wanted everybody to be able to be non-sniffable and also heal better if we do take damage if people are here people are here mm -hmm. okay uh this is where reach matters because this is a lot we're at ap4 you said uh, AP5. And weird, I imagine you were in on this stuff too? Um, I'm not planning on getting up close and personal, but I guess. Yeah, well, because it would apply to, to your sword. It would apply to your rapier. Yeah. Right. Plus again, five damage. Yeah, if not you, wanting to if get... It, if it happens, right. it happens. All right. So for body control, I need advanced duration. I need one reach to gain one general armor. Mm -hmm. I need two reach. Did we wake up Logan and Alicia for this one? Because this would mm -hmm. greatly they, affect they, them. Yeah, they, they said they won't. Mm -hmm. They're not taking any spells. Oh, that's basically. right. You're yep. right. Um, two reach halves, halves lethal healing time, lethal damage healing time per potency. Mm -hmm. um, and then advanced skill to get to the four of us. Right. Um, so that is five reach. Mm -hmm. I get one for free. Magical tool gets rid of two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then two more mana to spend. Correct. Okay, we'll take care of paradox. And let me roll that real quick. That's a nine, so nothing happens. Okay. Uh, two, two. And how much potency are you putting into this? Uh, plus five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I did the math. Lethal wounds will heal in an hour. Right. So it won't like save us, save us, but it'll help. Yep. <laughs> um, got the same. I got plus one more Yantra bonus because I'm using a better uh, Mudra. Oh, okay. So I'm 11 instead of 10 this time. Gotcha. Um, Cool. Over I didn't reach. do willpower last time. I want this one. What's up? Uh, I'm so not take just, care of the reach. Oh, yeah, four yeah. overreach. This fine. Yeah, I'm just walking through it. Um, four, and that Yantra doesn't go over five max. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And rope. So you just mm -hmm. want me to do the spell roll? Yep. Then then we'll re-roll however many. Yeah. Just that okay. way we can see it. Oh, so reroll it! Wow, <laughs> good thing. And this is where the rope quality comes in. That been bad. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So two so successes. That's it. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's insane. That's crazy. We I've haven't like, had that since like the start of the campaign. Yeah, the first spell I cast was terrible, and it was not the same spell. Yep. Um. Cool. So everybody's got one extra general armor. 
Um, you can let me run through all the fucked up crazy things this stuff does. So for we have six potency. Mm -hmm. Um, so we need two to the sixth power less or oxygen. one half to the sixth power less oxygen. Um, toxins are yeah whatever that is like sixty four times slower. 128 times power, however fucking math works. Yep. Uh, your heartbeats, yeah. Uh, your metabolism is good. Like, you don't have to eat for the next day, pretty much. Um, plus six to your initiative. Jesus Christ. Yep. Uh, you can control your... I guess, Can I control or they can control? The mage can control. Okay. So I can just make us go, whoop, we don't make any sound. We don't make any sense. Um, or I could make us, you know, particularly pheromonically attractive to the opposite sex or something, or the same sex, you know, we're all good here. Um, uh, Mammon doesn't need that help, thanks. So. <laughs> um, and then... Reduce healing time. Potent, yeah, bashing wounds are down to, like, seconds. Oh, yeah, let's actually work that out, because that might actually matter. Uh, so it says, it says potency, at potency 3, for example, bashing wound per minute. We're at half three times of that. So 30 seconds, 15 seconds, uh, seven and a half seconds. Yeah. So every two, so every, every two, two turns, turns, we get a, we get a bashing damage, yep. <laughs> which like, that's almost werewolf strength. Depending on the werewolf, it's better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and oh, then no, every, no, it wouldn't be, it would be half, it would be half of a werewolf. And then every hour will heal a lethal. Yep. Was okay. the math I did. How long does this last? A day. Nice. So you guys uh, finish that, your little powwow, I, yep. <laughs> uh, and Alicia, Alicia, and Logan are looking at you guys, and like it's just chill. You guys are going through, and all of a sudden, both of them go as they look at like, <laughs> I can't smell you guys. What the yep. fuck was that? <laughs> it's like you, I can smell you in the room, but I can't smell you guys. Uh, um, I, I will uh, demonstrate. Not with the same technique that he used, but I'll get a <laughs> knife and just like cut my hand and then just watch it just seal right back up. Yep. And he goes, hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um uh, though technically that would take an hour for it to seal up, but uh any kind of just cutting little, just, just wait, baby Logan. cut. Just wait. Yeah, just yeah, a yeah, baby cut. It'll, 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 yeah. yeah. You just like punch a wall and then watch yeah. as I mean, the ruse goes away. Right. That's that's a little bit. <laughs> Um, cool. All right. So the Cabal has buffed themselves to the gills. They have debuffed this alpha to the absolute bottom. And um, and we might snatch his fucking soul out. So, you know, <laughs> um, which reminds me, John, um, your scrying window was that that was for a full day, wasn't it? It was indeed. OK, cool. So, yeah, you guys wake up and you now see a. A fairly fit, but kind of like swimmer build, gymnast build, um, Caucasian guy, um, very similar kind of ratty clothes and stuff like that, um, uh, sitting out and kind of sprawled very languidly um, across a bunch of grass. Um, and you know that because you have that that you know headshot kind of thing, so you just see him looking up and just this very serene, um, like predator taking at, in the sun, right? And very kind of like predator at its ease, kind of grin, just lying on you know grass. So you don't have a great view of what he's doing, other than that's where he's at. At oh, at this point, five p.m. Because <laughs> you guys had spelled up um and rather than do unless somebody has something because it sounds like we're gonna go kick some ass yes uh -huh. well i've been thinking about that and a concern that i have is when we roll up on him is he gonna have his pack nearby so what i was contemplating was potentially casting um give me a second it's Isolation. the one that makes people not want to be around people Isolation. Isolation. Yes, uh, potentially casting isolation on him. Um, that way he's incentivized to not be around his pack because it, it would be very taxing for him mentally to be around his pack. Yep. 
So before my scrying window close, actually, I wouldn't need my scrying window for it at all because no. I I have that. You have the connection point. for the next couple hours week? at this point. Oh, that was a oh no, that was, yeah, yeah, because he spent extra to extend it out. I did. I yeah. can't. Uh, hmm. I can't. I can't find isolation. Space one. Uh, also, I did raise my noses. I'm trying For to... For some reason, I assumed that isolation would be a mind thing. I know. The two kind of go back and forth. I'm trying to pick a praxis, but... Okay. But yeah, uh, space one, and you know... Because I've kind of let you know that it's got a high composure of six, so you will have to get around that. All right, need my three reach. Uh, we're done with this scrying window, correct? Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close it so I don't have to... Reach over that. Super overreach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get uh, two free reach because it is a space one, one spell. spell. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need to increase... Oh, I would need to increase potency. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you have two potency by default. So... And how much is it to increase potency? Minus, minus two. two. Oh, excuse me, you don't Which... have... I keep doing this, you don't have... Oh, yeah, yeah, you do have two potency. So you need to increase it by five. Five. Songbird, can minus you do that thing you did to, to show the Amagos? Yeah. Quick, please, while he's working on this spell. <laughs> uh, okay. Shit, I'm going to need to increase duration, huh? Uh, yes. So, I need three reach, sympathetic, instant, and, or uh, yeah. rather, sensory, sympathetic, um, you instant. You had it right. Sensory, instant, and, advanced duration? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to increase the duration to, well, last for the day, that's only a minus two. So you're at a minus 12. And I just realized I can speak with animals. Mm-hmm. Yep. And talk to the birds. I'm using a willpower on that. Okay. So three... This minus 10, 12, 9. And I still have that 8 again, right? Uh, no, I no, would have gotten rid of it. That. Yep. So, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, minus 12. Yes, yeah, so you're down to a chance to die on this spell. If I'm doing my math right. Is it... So you can still go for it. It ain't going to hurt anything. No, it's not worth the willpower dot. Okay. Now, that said, you can decide because the willpower isn't giving you uh, plus three. Because it is, as long as you are not below. This is where we get it. Minus five something. or something like that. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see here. As long as dice pool after Yantras is minus six or less, it spells impossible. Minus five to zero becomes a chance dice. You can literally just try. You, you could be so you can cast this ritually while I'm casting on you. You could do that and get a bunch more, bunch Yantras more Yantras. stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so at that point, we can add in. Uh, let's see here. Path tool for one. Um, Cabal. And or I shadow name. He, I think he was already doing that. He was high speech and shadow, shadow name. name. So path for another one. That would bring you to a solid 
zero order. with a willpower dot. Um, an order tool, I don't think his order tool is going to apply. Um, Mysterium order tools are for like gathering knowledge, I think. I'm looking them up real quick. Uh, tools. Order tool is Mysterium. Yeah, knowledge and communication. So that wouldn't apply. Um, agent tools. Uh, well, I mean, it, it is directly related to communication, isn't it? I dig that. It's yeah. making it more complicated for him to communicate. I dig that. Mm -hmm. Sealing him off from it. Yeah, minus one there. Um, or uh, plus one there. Uh, da, 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 da. Or did the dedicated magical tool. So you're up to one. Um, let's see here. Or did tools. You don't have a mudra for it. Uh, or do I've you got him with a willpower point at like four or five dice. Say that again? I think with a willpower dot, is it four dice? Okay. Or not a, a dot, a point. Right, point. Uh, nothing to pull from the environment. Yeah, so you could, pull, you could eke out a four with willpower. So I'm at um, bonus from Yantris is at six. Well, grand total after your negatives. Your yeah, total dice pool is four, with uh, or just a one if you don't want to put the willpower into it. Okay. Well, I am going to. Uh... All right. What is this? Seriously, every awesome. time he's like, "I'm going to pull off this crazy spell and have a minimal <laughs> dice pool, one success." Hi, I'm Songbird. I have eight in my dice pool, zero successes. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm just a cool. better mage. <laughs> let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, uh oh, I think Ash is frozen. My camera is frozen. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have off a very off. concerned face right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So yes, he is isolated, um, and of course you're not scrying, so you don't know necessarily what effect that may be having. But uh, because you do know his composure between weird spells and stuff like that. Um, oh, we got before, a few points of willpower. Before I lose my link to him, should I um, go ahead and locate objects so we can watch and see when slash if he leaves the uh, den? He's not and in then the hit den him now. Up then? Well, you don't know where he's Well, yeah. So he we, could be we need to locate object know. anyways. Mm -hmm. it, you can do that once you get closer. And I think that may be a good place uh, that may be where we pick up as the Cabal crews out. Uh, and our buffs episode. Yeah, our buffs episode, um, which holy crap, like I said, we're going to cast a lot of spells. You guys see where this is going. This is about to be one absolutely wrecked. Shit's about to pop off, y'all. Right. Uh, and that also gives me uh, a week to figure out what rights the... Uh, the werewolves may have performed in preparation for this. They don't know a lot. They're still kind of newbies, um, but uh, so they we. may have some stuff. Yep, exactly. Um, so cool. Um, unless we're going to have a sudden divination by weird. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> OK, um, yeah. Prep. One more thing. Yeah, I did want to at some point, I'm going to want to have a talk with Alicia because she's a storyteller and storytelling mm -hmm. is kind of an acanthus thing. Yep. Yeah, so uh but yeah so the i think the the episode closes as the party kind of swat team slow walks <laughs> out to the suv and, um loaded up with spells checking the because and, you know, and actually just a real quick double check we have silver bullets in mammon smig and pistol mm -hmm. and, and then atreus has stuff no no silver for uh, weird and then songbird and silver has knuckles. silver knuckles yeah both fists <laughs> yep so there you go guys our cabal is heading off to fight a incredibly powerful incredibly dangerous werewolf alpha and uh this like cursed nope. shit cursed to shit uh, so we'll see where where this goes uh next week Sorry for leaving you on such a cliffhanger, but we're also being left on this cliffhanger. It's true. I am hanging on the cliff. Yes. Good thing I've got lots of strength. And one it. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. And that was 
episode 18, the one with all the dice rolls. Um, so thank you for sticking through that. That was a lot of uh, paper keeping, document keeping, die rolling. Um, but hopefully kind of interesting to see these guys, the Cabal, pulling their powers together and setting up and showing off how scary mages can be, especially if they have some forewarning and are grouped together. Um, don't worry. <laughs> they won't always have such easy opportunities. And uh, don't think that this is going to be a cakewalk because, I mean, what kind of storyteller would I be if I just let them walk in and destroy everything in the first go, right? Uh, but, hey, uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, how many other werewolves should there be with the alpha? Hmm. I don't know. We're going to figure that out. Uh, I'm still making notes. So uh, actually, by the time you see this, we'll only have a couple hours before we play. So, you know, think on what you want to happen to the call and make some comments as soon as you watch the video. Uh, maybe I'll know ahead of time. Uh, anyways, as always, if you uh, have enjoyed the episode, please come join us. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on uh, excuse me, follow us on uh, patreon i think there's a you know follow thing that just lets you see the news updates and stuff like that great way to know when we post some interesting stuff uh hopefully uh like i said in the last episode by the time you see this there should be some stuff up on patreon uh that anybody can see um and then uh if you really want to put some uh support for us you can definitely um pledge at any level it all goes to us which helps a lot and uh, of course, if you do the ten dollar uh, sleepwalker tier, you do have access to all the notes that the players have access to. That kind of keeps track of NPCs. And so, if you're going, hmm, wait, what auspice was Alicia again? Uh, you can go actually check that up in Conca rather than scrolling through YouTube to try and find where she said what she was. That kind of stuff. Um, anyways. Uh, that is all there. It's all down in the, the notes uh, below. Also, a link to Drive Through RPG. So if you want to actually buy the book and, you know, play it yourself, follow along, see what spells people have access to, that kind of thing, that's available down there. And actually, if you use a little affiliate link like that, uh, we get a little kickback too, which goes to store credit in Drive Through RPG, which means I can buy more books. So I can do stuff like, you know, when the new Mummy book comes out or when the new Hunter book comes out, I'll be able to pick those up. and them into the game uh so anyways thanks for hanging around guys and we will see you uh next week bye